everyone, welcome to the Honest Passion Academy. My name is Justin. Okay, welcome once again. Um, in this video, I want to talk to fashion designers, especially the startups. Okay, I know advanced designers may have outgrown some of their fears. Well, even though all of us do have one kind of fear or the other, depending on what you want to do or your kind of person, okay? So, but this video is directed to fashion designers, especially the startups. Now, what is your fear? What is your fear as a fashion designer? What are you afraid of? We have so many kind of fears ranging from customers to fabric to markets to styles and so many other kinds of fears what is your own fear if you're able to identify your own fear you've gone 50 percent to solving it okay and if what i'm about to say sounds like your own kind of fear you have a solution to it if only you're going to put it into practice now one of such fear that we have or used to have or some still have is the fear that they will not be able to replicate the style they've already done before if a customer asks for it okay as a new person in the in the fashion business making clothes you may have come across a style and you struggled to sew the style. You've, you've used every technique, you, every tip, sewing technique that you can think of. You've tried so many um, ways and at the end of the day, you came up with something very beautiful, well-fitting. You wear it and people be like, oh, this is beautiful. I like it. I love it. Please, can you make it for me? And deep down in your mind, you're afraid. You made this quote, yes. Well, <laughs> I wish they saw you when you were making it. It was war, right? It was war. And then you are now afraid, will I be able to make this for somebody? Am I going to do all this trial and error on someone's fabric? It is a very serious fear, okay? But I want to assure you that a second time doing something is always easier than the first time. If only you paid attention to what you were doing. I know you've used so many techniques, you've tried so many um, patterns, trial and error before you came up with something good. Or it may even be that what you had in mind to sew is not what actually came out but it is fitting and people love it. So uh, you're just confused. You don't know how to go about this style a second time. Now you are not alone. Some of us used to be there, some are still there. So it's not just a personal thing, it's a general something, okay? So what I want to tell you today, or the tip I want to give you is to have this confidence that you've done it before and you're still going to do it again and you're going to come up victorious after all some mistakes come out to be very nice designs and all of us begin to copy it right begin to get inspiration from someone's mistake it happens so the fact that you've done it before it's an indication that you can also do it again now it's not just enough to have this positive affirmation i've done it before i can do it again you need to put in the work now what do you want to do take the the, the clothes you've made look at it again try to remember the things you did and how you did them starting from the cutting to the sewing to the finishing and everything write down the process as you're looking at this clothes write down the process how did i do it okay this is the style i drafted it i did a cutting this way i sewed it this way and it came out this way once you're able to write this process step by 
spell on a piece of paper, write it down, read it again, play it in your head. There is no way that you won't be able to draft, cut and sew the same style for someone again. Okay, but before you do this, you have to make sure that you have been grounded in taking proper measurements. If you're not good in taking someone's measurements, no matter what you sew, you will still have issues. So once you've passed that elementary stage of knowing how to take your measurements, how to place the fabric and cut, trust me, you're going to do it right. Okay? That's fear number one, and we're going to take it step one after the other. So today, I'm promising you that if you've done a style before, and you try to focus on what you've done before, and you try to remember what you've done before, and how it came out, and what you did that made it come out like that, be courageous and take that fabric from the customer. Alright? Take that fabric from the customer and make it for them you might not charge so um, big amount of money but let it be that you're using this to strengthen yourself to make it a second time and be perfect in what you're doing okay but remember that you need to be grounded in taking measurements and and being able to control your fabric and cut accurately based on what you measure what i want to tell you that if you're someone who is looking for customer stop giving the excuse that um i'm just doing for myself for now um, um i'm just making for myself i'm not making for people when you know that you're actually looking for who to sue and now fear is making you to to start talking like you're one of such big person that doesn't want to sue for anyone the more you tell them that you're making for yourself and not making for anyone for now, the more they run away from you. By the time you're now convinced that you can take up any job and do it, you may not really see people to give you clothes to sew for them. Okay? So start small and start growing. Don't um, use price to chase them away when you know that you still have issues. Start small, start growing. Don't chase your customers away because of fear. Don't allow fear to kill your career. No, that's not going to happen. Okay, so I hope this little tip helped you. And I come your way next time. Very soon, we're going to discuss another kind of fear and how you are going to come up victorious remember to write my name is justice from the onyx fashion academy see ya